Well, first of all, I'm 18 years old. Uh, from New Orleans, Louisiana. 17, to be exact. But actually, uh, I moved to the AWOL when I was three. And I've been here ever since. You know, Katrina messed over, Nick. But, you know, we back. I actually started rapping like three years ago, something like that. I started, I actually started out like, I wanted to make movies. And I was always like into videos and stuff like that and filmmaking. So I started going to NOCA for it. Uh, I actually got hooked up with a guy, uh, DJ Slash. He, uh, he started teaching me bounce, how to mix bounce music. With that came the rapping and you know, here I am now. I, I actually got put on to Kanye West's 808 to Heartbreak by my English teacher. Listening to that album made me like, you know, I just like start following like artists' full discographies and stuff like that. So, you know, I downloaded all of Kanye's stuff. I started listening to, I always heard Wayne, but you know, I started listening to like all of Wayne's stuff. You know, I downloaded a lot of Kid Cudi, a lot of Drake. Uh, it's, I grew up on R&B, old school R&B music, so you know, Isley Brothers are a big influence for me, Marvin Gaye, Michael Jackson, of course, and um, yeah. I don't know, dude, I just make music, <laughs> but uh, I, I, I don't know, I guess my style would have to be, you know, um, but to be honest, you can't really like put me in a box, you know what I'm saying? I like have a bunch of different styles, you know? I could like get on some, you know, some some smooth, soul, hip-hop type stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like some common Tyler uh, Kweli type stuff, but then, you know, at the same time, I could, I could, uh, I could hold my own on like some, some Lex Luger, uh, Waka Flocka, you know, headbanging type stuff, you know, so I mean, uh, I, I stretch the, um, the scale. I'm like the middle man, you know what I'm saying? There's no real, there's no real box you can put me in. I have all types of styles, you know. Oh man, there's so many people. Uh, First of all, I like I love to do a song with Frank Ocean just because you know we're from the same city. He's he's really uh, he's he's on another level with his writing, and I think that we could really come up with some really uh, dope shit together, you know. And uh, another person would have to be Eminem. If you can get to a level in your career to where they're like, hey, let's put him on the track with Eminem. You know you've done some shit. So yeah, Eminem would be one. And. Uh, Two chains. <laughs> I want to be that nigga that just, just, just ball so hard. It's so hard, son. I want to be that nigga. I want, yeah, make motherfuckers want fun. <laughs> for real, for real though. Um, I mean, that's a tough one. I want to be remembered to where like people can like put me on like BET honors and stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? Like a Bow, Stevie Wonder, Bow, Ronald Isley, Bow, Whitney Houston, just throwing that out there, you know, like they, they actually honor and respect these artists as if they change music in a way and you know they take they take these that power away from like a lot of the hip hop artists out nowadays and I wanna be remembered as like an iconic figure in music, not just hip hop in music to where like I'm just honored by all ages, you know, everybody just sees what I do and they just kinda like respect where what I do and where I'm coming from with my art and what I'm, you know, putting out for the world, you know. I think I know how I feel about the game. <laughs> so, you know, it's messed up, but you know, it's not messed up at the same time. Uh, I feel like I could, you know, slip my way in like there's a lot of pop artists and stuff like even hip hop artists are being pop artists nowadays and you know I could easily jump clean into that into that genre like that style like it isn't really anything but then at the same time I could still generate my uh, uh, following from underground uh, listeners you know what I'm saying through my mixtapes and like just you know the raw spitting on stuff like that so I mean I think the game's in a pretty good spot uh, from for my you know situation and what I do, um, I'm just pretty interested to see what happens if I get in. Oh wait! Oh yeah! I got an album coming out. 
<laughs> a little more better. Show me, cause you got a lot to show me, and I might like it. Got me so excited.